is here. Can't wait. Attorneys Emily Campagna, uh, Campagna, excuse me, I think I said that wrong, and Lisa Garber is here. Hello to both of you. Okay. All right, Lisa, talk to me. What do you think? I don't know how he could have expected any other result than to be fired. At this point in time, with what Google's going through in terms of allegations of unequal pay between women and men, they currently employ 69% men. They're not hiring enough women. And he's releasing this discriminatory memo basically saying women can't do as good of a job. Okay, so we're all dumb? No? <laughs> Lisa makes fair point. I'm sorry. I'm going to go home now. What am I doing in Korean news? I had to say that. Sorry. Anyway, what do you do? You, you kind of have another perspective on this. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, notwithstanding that California is an at-will termination state, obviously, and those are totally fair points, the reality is that it was a memo that was kind of circulated amongst the employees, and it was addressing inequality in the workplace. So it's actually protected under both California state law and federal law. And I also saw that it didn't rise anywhere near to the level of a hostile work environment that the courts have construed them to be which is a reasonable person, person standard, that really means this kind of pervasive pattern of abusive conduct that someone should be terminated over. This really didn't cut it. And then lastly, you know, mm. Google's code of conduct, which they cited as his memo violating, right. crucially concludes by saying, if you see something you don't like, speak up. So it really didn't violate the code of conduct on its face that Google, Google, Google purports to really emphasize among all of them. But if I was a civil rights attorney, to be honest, I would say, okay, wait a minute. No, you, you, you're, you're basically insulting a group, a minority group. In the case of Google, women are the minority if you look at the employee numbers, right? Exactly. And I do have to respectfully disagree with Emily. I think that at this point in time, even taking apart the fact that Google's facing this lawsuit about discrimination and unequal pay, you look at their process internally. He released this internally. He could have gone about it in a couple of different ways. If he had a real problem, he could have talked to his peers about it outside of the workplace. He could have brought it directly to management instead of releasing this rather public memo within Google. There are different ways he could have gone about it. And again, at will, Google can fire him for basically any reason. There's no First Amendment protections mm -hmm. within a private workplace. And, and, that, and I, I've done a lot of work as well on employment. Employment, um, issues, you know, just in general as a journalist, and that's that was my first thought. Like you, you know, you, you you're an at-will employee. Google has every right to fire you, if, especially if you're kind of, um, you know, insulting the company and going against the company. That you know, go go. If you don't like it, go work at Uber. I guess is what I would say. This <laughs> Uber's right. Yeah, right. Uber's another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, in Demore's defense, and what he will argue is, look, throughout it, he specifically cited this is an extreme stance that I'm arguing here. And he kind of emphatically and abjectly stated throughout, look, I'm not advocating for inequality. I'm not advocating for gender differences. He kind of had this earnest point. I mean, it, it read to me as the guy next to you in class that is misguided but earnest and not malicious. And going back to California state law and the federal laws, they really held to protect that if an employee speaks up addressing an aspect of the employment that is unequal in their eyes, albeit mm -hmm. misguided, it is protected nonetheless, so I do think this is going to have a favorable outcome for him with the NLRB board. I think, obviously, labor attorneys everywhere are going to be watching this, employment attorneys. Certainly. Yeah, this certainly. is going to be fun. Well, Lisa, thank you very much.